Hey everybody, welcome back to JORC, and uh, today we've got something really completely different. Um, viewers of my channel who are here for uh, strictly RC content, you can obviously go ahead and skip this one if this ain't your bag. Um, I am uploading an RC related video at the same time as this, um, an unboxing of a new uh, 114th scale semi truck, so if you're just into RC, if this ain't your thing, go ahead, please go check that out. You have, uh, you have the right to skip this one. Um, if you're here, if this is the first time that you've uh, visited my channel, if you're here specifically because of trains, then uh, welcome to JORC. I normally uh, mess around with RC cars, big and small, but um, today we're taking a little departure. We're going to look at something else. Um, I've had this set in my possession for a while now. Uh, it's just been sitting in its box. I haven't really opened it and uh, done anything with it yet. Um, again, like I said, everybody knows that I'm into RC. Truth be told, I was into trains long before RC was ever a part of my life. At this point, some of my earliest memories are of uh, Lionel's that my grandfather had, and then I had some later on, and I've still actually got those. They're packed away right now, but... Uh, over my life, I've had a couple of different layouts. I've, I've modeled in O scale, H, O, N, and now we're starting with S. And um, I have plans to maybe build a little layout, see what I can get going on. And uh, a little while ago, I picked this one up. Like I said, it's just been sitting. I noticed that there aren't a whole lot of American Flyer videos on uh, YouTube, so I figured why not uh, record myself opening this up so I can share it with you fine folks. And uh, you know what? Without further ado, let's just dig in and see what we have here. So this is the Gilbert American Flyer Flyer Chief Gilbert Gravel Docksider set. Now this is a really cool train set. Like I said, I've never really done S scale. I've always been curious about American Flyer, but you know, when I saw this set, I said, wow, that's really cool. Um, I, so I, I said, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab it. And here it is. It's, um, this is S scale. So this is halfway in between HO and O, 164th. This is obviously American Flyer, but these are now produced by Lionel. This is a Lionel product. So you have the uh, quality of the Lionel name brand to stand behind. This set includes an 060 Docksider switcher, two operating gravel dump cars, and a lit caboose along with an oval of S-scale fast track. It has your little uh, transformer plug-in. And then, fitting for this channel, this is actually remote control. This uh, locomotive has a little remote included in the box here. It takes three AAA batteries, and uh, you can control the whole thing with this little handheld remote. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the box first off, because this is, American Flyer does a really nice job here on the cover. And then, uh, the sides are all kind of just this basic, uh, you can see the cover art is on the, uh, the two ends. And then the large sides are just this basic blue and yellow American Flyer color scheme that uh, all their boxes kind of look like this. Again, we've got the uh, cover art on the front. The back is just white. Back to the front of the box. Let's uh, open it up, see what's inside. All right, right off the bat, we have a uh, an instruction manual here. American Flyer Docksire, ready to run set, owner's manual for the, uh, the sets that include Bluetooth. So um, you're definitely going to want to read through this. In fact, I need to read through this because I've never used a set with Bluetooth before or the Flyer Chief remote. So uh, I actually need to read through this and uh, learn what I'm doing here. Put that aside. And here we have the set box. And uh, this is really nice. I love when they do this, when uh, all the pieces are individually boxed inside the set box. This is just a beautiful presentation and American Flyer nailed it. And, uh, you know, a lot of the Lionel higher-end sets come like this. It's just a beautiful, when you open the box and you're presented with this, just looks fantastic. So, uh, 
let's uh, get everything out of the box so we can look at it on the table and then we'll go from there. So we've got our two operating dump cars. Got one there. Got another one here. We have our uh, 060 Docksider locomotive. We've got our Gilbert gravel lit caboose. And then we have uh, some track sections here. Let's see. That looks like that's going to be our Flyer Chief remote. We'll look at that in a minute. And we have more fast track sections. And uh, I guess that's probably going to be our power supply. Let's get this set box out of here and clear up some room. All right, so we've got our track, we've got our instruction manual, our controller. Let's start with the caboose. All right, let's see, is that in frame? Yeah, it's not bad. Sorry about the lighting here. This is a uh, new filming situation here. I'm still trying to get everything right. I know this video is a little bit dark, but. Uh, this is the best I could slap together on short notice. So, we've got our Gilbert Gravel number 53 illuminated caboose. Let's uh, pop this out of the package here and take a look at it. Really nice packaging. I, I really like the way that they put this together. We've got this blister pack holding everything nice and secure. Pop that open. Got our train car wrapped up in some plastic, and here it is. All right, wow, this is nice. These are beautiful. This is definitely Lionel quality. It feels like a Lionel, just slightly smaller. And that's basically all these uh, American Flyer S scales are at this point. It's a, you know, 75% Lionel. You know, it's, it's a Lionel at 75% size. So, I mean... If you have any experience with Lionel, then you know the kind of quality. We've got all metal trucks. These are die cast. I mean, this, this has some good weight to it. Again, this is all lit on the inside. We've got a uh, smokestack up top. All the paint looks fantastic. You've got the knuckle couplers on both ends. Very, very nice. All right. So here we've got one of our operating coal dump cars. Now these two cars are absolutely going to be a ton of fun to play with. If you've never played with an operating coal dump car, these things are great. You pull up, you hit the button, the whole car shifts to the side, sends the coal flying. These are just a ton of fun. These are quite possibly my favorite bit of rolling stock. I had a couple of these in O scale and uh, definitely a lot of fun. So let's uh, pop this open. Again, beautiful packaging. You know, each car, the, the box is numbered and labeled individually. Just, just very well done. There we go. We've got our car. We've got our dump bin up top. Let's uh, get into this. So here it is. We'll pull the car out itself. It's wrapped in some plastic here. Ooh, it's a tight package. But uh, there you go. And again, this is really nice. This has some, some good heft to it. All die-cast trucks, die-cast axles. The whole bottom of this is all die-cast. This is a very heavy car. Uh, knuckle couplers on both ends. Here you've got your little copper pickup, which is going to activate it when you roll over the activation track. And, uh, I mean, this is very nice. The paint, all the detail looks really crisp. This is car number 201. 
The other one included in the set is identical, but it's number 202. Very nice. Separately applied uh, brake wheels here. Very, very nice. Again, all the quality that you would expect with a Lionel product, because that's essentially what this is. Also included in the pack here, we've got the uh, cold dump bin. So you've got this on the side of the track. Car rolls up, you hit the button, dumps the uh, coal right into this collection bin here. Then you've got the... Uh, here we've got instructions for the cold dump car, so... You're going to want to read through those so you know how to use this. Here we've got the activation button along with the uh, track bracket and a bag of coal so that you can uh, fill it up and dump it. So pretty cool. Everything you need to get going with the coal dump car. Let's, um, like I said, the other one is going to be identical, but we'll open it and just uh, make sure that it, uh, it includes all the same things that the first one did. Okay, so here you can see we've got our other dump car. This is car number 202, identical to the one that we just looked at. But just uh, for peace of mind, we'll pop this one open as well. And you can see we've got our uh, railroad car. We've got our whole dump bin up top. Again, we've got our instructions, we've got our coal, we've got our activation switch and the uh, track bracket. Let's get the uh, silicone gel out of the way. We'll go throw that in the snack drawer. So yeah, we've got two of those, number 201 and 202, beautiful cars. Now to the uh, main course here, our locomotive. Now again, Beautiful packaging, just like the cars. Uh, Docksider Locomotive, number 1967. This is a, uh, I think this is going to be a really cool little piece. Let's uh, pull it out of its packaging here. Again, you've got that same high quality plastic clamshell. Pop that open. Oh man, that's nice. And this definitely has a bit of weight to it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Very, very nice. Paint looks good. We've got the uh, knuckle couplers on both ends here. All right. Got our electrical contacts on the bottom there. You can see the bottom, very nice. We've got a little Bluetooth symbol because this locomotive is equipped with Bluetooth. We've got a switch on the bottom here to uh, switch between transformer, conventional control, and the uh, Flyer Chief remote. And then we've got uh, the Chuff Sound on-off switch right here. This locomotive does not have smoke. You can't put... Uh, you can't put any smoke fluid down in there because there's a little plastic plug. But um, other than that, it's got everything. It's got, uh, I believe it's got some crew announcements that'll come on. It's got a whistle, headlight on the front. It's got a reverse light back here. It's a small little locomotive, which is going to be perfect for me because uh, the layout that I'm planning is going to be in a really tight space. So this is going to be excellent for doing some work. And uh, the detail on it just looks fantastic. It really does. The paint looks good. Um, you know, this isn't the most expensive locomotive in the American Flyer lineup, but it's still pretty well detailed. I like the uh, Gilbert gravel livery that they went with here. I know it's kind of a fantasy railroad here, but uh, it works, given the uh, cars that are included with the set. I just... Overall, really, really nice. I like this locomotive. It's got a nice little bit of heft to it, so it should have some good drawbar pull. Um, shouldn't have any problem pulling these cars around, you know, even when they're loaded down with coal. Um, very, very cool. Let's take a look at that uh, Flyer Chief remote. All right. So this is the first time I've ever actually seen one of these. And, um, you know, not bad. It's lightweight, but it feels like it's good quality. 
It's a very tactile feel on the buttons. They make a nice click. You know when you're pressing it. Throttle feels good. You know, there's a little bit of weight to it, so you're not just going to be knocking it around with your fingers. You, uh, you know, feels feels sturdy. We've got an on-off switch on the side here. Looks good. This is going to take three AAA batteries, which are not included in the set, but that's the only thing you got to uh, you got to add. Everything else is in the box. And uh, yeah, I'm. This is pretty cool because, you know. Up until now, train sets have been, you know, you're hardwired to the transformer, which is in one place, and, uh, you know, that's that's it. This gives you the ability to walk around your uh, train table and kind of come at it from all angles, and you have the control right in your hand, and, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this. Gets even better, though, because you don't even really need this. This locomotive can be driven using their app on your smartphone. So if you have a uh, iOS or an Android device, you can just uh, go on the uh, Apple Store or the uh, Google Store. You download the uh, Lionel app, and you can just control them right with your smartphone. And you can control multiple locomotives at once. You can do all the special functions. You can control trackside accessories and, and all kinds of stuff using their app. So... You don't even really need this. I'll probably be using this. I'll certainly experiment with the app, but I look forward to just using this uh, really nice little controller that they've included here. And um, yeah, this, this looks fantastic. Let's take a look at the fast track. So this is Lionel S-Scale American Flyer, essentially, fast track. And... Uh, this is radius 20 included in this set, so it's going to be about a 40 inch diameter circle if you were to just build a circle out of these. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a good size oval that they give you here. It's a nice, nice bit of track. This is high quality stuff, snaps together really well, makes a good electrical connection. It's got the road bed built right into it. This is perfect, like if you're putting your train set down on a carpet or something like that. This is going to get it nice and lifted up off that surface so you don't get any junk in your locomotive or your rolling stock. I mean, this is great. You can, you don't need to have a permanent layout with this stuff. You can just pull it out, slap it together on the floor, roll your train around, have fun with it, and then at the end of the day, you just unclick them all and you put them back in a stack like this and put them in your closet or something. So... Fast track is great, and then if you do want to make a layout out of it, which I think I will be using this for my layout, it's it's just great stuff all around. It performs well. It's uh, easy to maintain. Every kind of uh, you know variation in track that you could want is available. You've got manual switches, automatic switches. You've got crossovers, all kinds of stuff. So. You know, I, I really like the fast track system in O scale, and I have no reason to believe that the S scale will perform any worse. I, I think that this is just great stuff. So you've got your, uh, let's see, what do you got here? You've got your 12 sections of radius 20 curve track. And then in this little uh, cardboard envelope, we have our... This is going to be our fast track. Um, this is the Flyer Chief activation track. So this is what you're going to plug your power in from the wall. In fact, uh, this is the little power brick right here in this box. Take a look at it since we're talking about it. All right. Actually, that's nice. It's blue. It's blue. It has the uh, Lionel L on it. Feels like a good quality piece. You know, I you know, I like the fact that it's branded Lionel. You know that they actually, you know, had a hand in supplying this. It's not just some junk pulled off a shelf somewhere. So that's pretty cool. You've got your barrel plug right there, which is going to plug into this straight track right here. And that's going to power your uh, layout. That's all you got to do. So there you go, folks. That's everything that's included in the uh, Lionel American Flyer. Flyer Chief Gilbert Gravel Docksider train set. And um, this looks like an awesome set. 
this is really action packed when you've got, you know, uh, two operating cars in one set. This is just going to be a ton of fun. I really like this little locomotive. It's going to be great in tight spaces. Like I said, I'm planning a pretty small layout, so this is definitely going to be a nice one to have. And this caboose, you know, with the light die cast trucks and everything, this is just everything about this is really high quality. This is a, a beautiful set. I like the remote. You can't beat the fast track. You've got your dump bins. You've got your coal. You've got everything you need here. So I'm really impressed. Um, this set is getting a little bit harder to find. Um, I think this is actually a release from a year or two ago. So you kind of have to look around for it. I'll go ahead and I'll drop the link to where I got this one in the uh, description below. So you can scroll down and check that out if you want. Thanks for uh, watching my uh, unboxing of this train set here. I never really planned on doing train related content on this channel. And maybe if I want to do more of it, I'll have to move it to a separate channel. But for now, this is the place that I have. So let me know what you thought about this video. If you'd like to see maybe more content like this, go ahead and let me know down below. And uh, I'll see what I can come up with. But like I said... Thanks for watching. I really like this set. I hope you do too. And uh, leave us a like. Give us a thumbs up, you know. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, you know, thanks for watching JORC. I'll see you guys next time.